What's up, baby birds? Do you guys know the different regions of the GI tract or the route that food takes once it enters your mouth to pass through the GI tract? Well, I have this model here from Anatomy app, and I'll drop the link in the description that shows the different regions of the GI tract. So once you put food in your mouth, you chew it, you start mechanical digestion, a little bit of chemical digestion, then you swallow it, it's going to enter this long tube here, and this is the esophagus. So this big long tube here, that's your esophagus, and it sits posterior or behind the trachea. So here's the esophagus, and the esophagus will pass through the diaphragm down into the stomach. So food will move from the esophagus down into the stomach. So this structure here, this is your stomach. Now inside of the stomach, there will be mechanical digestion, there'll be chemical digestion, right? And it will hold on to the food until it passes it to the small intestine. So all of this here, this is the small intestine. And there are three main regions of the small intestine. There's this small sort of S-shaped structure here that does a 180 degree turn, that's the duodenum or duodenum, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So duodenum, then you have the jejunum, and then you have the ileum. So three main regions of the small intestine. You have the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. From the small intestine, content will move into the large intestine. So this structure here, this is your large intestine. And there are different regions to the large intestine as well. You have the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon. Then you enter this S-shaped structure here, which is the sigmoid colon, which will come back into the rectum and then into the anus. So we have the esophagus, the stomach, duodenum, jejunum, ileum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, rectum, and then the anus. And those are the different regions of the GI tract. Now you know. Later.